this is a, a demonstration intact, normal, whole, natural penis uh, that's available from savingoursons.org. And uh, right now it's, it's supposed to be showing what it would look like in a, <coughs> in a flaccid, relaxed state uh, when, it's, when it's natural and normal and whole. Um, when a when an intact penis, old penis is erect, this is a little bit more like what it looks like. You see the the glands, the corona, the the frenulum, uh, all exposed, right? And uh, if you look at pretty much just about any mammal um, on the planet, that's how it works too. Is when they become erect, the the glands um, shows itself. Now, a quote, circumcised penis or a penis that has had the prepuce amputated or excised from it, uh, well, is always showing, uh, or or at least most of it. Some some men. It depends on the cut, obviously. Um, you know, some men have a certain amount of coverage uh, when they're when they're relaxed uh, state. Uh, and there's there's a coverage index. Uh, you can look it up online. It tells you, you know, gives you an idea of whether you have a coverage index of say one or a coverage index of say well, ten. Um, and I've even seen videos of some men that have, you know, lots of um, <laughs> lots of prepuce or foreskin. <clears throat> Technically, the foreskin is, is supposed to be just the part that's in front of the penis. Today's uh, procedure involves removing the entire prepuce here. But yeah, some, some men have a whole lot of skin in front of their penis, in front of the glands, and some, you know, even when they're born, uh, they might have a postia, uh, which to some is considered a, a birth defect, but uh, according to people that are intersex, born intersex, they don't consider it a birth defect, it's just, uh, it's just an in between, in between male and female. So, anyways, this is, this is really great for, for demonstration purposes. Uh, it's better than, say, a, a dildo, where it looks far more like the real thing. This is very helpful, very useful for demonstration purposes at, uh, say, fairs or something like that, and it's, it's still, it can still be considered PG. <clears throat> So there's there's multiple parts of the prepuce that most people don't seem to understand, um, and that's why I think uh, it's such a routine in the USA to just lop it off and think of it as just extra skin, um, <clears throat> or something like that. And well, it's it's not. It's it's there for a reason. Um, for one, if uh, if if it's completely removed and uh, then the you know and the penis is like this in a natural state, and then it tries to become erect, well, what happens? Well, what's gonna happen is this, this skin here is gonna be stretched, and it's only gonna stretch so far, and then the skin down here, the scrotum and the body is gonna be drawn up the shaft. And that's why you know, some men end up with a, a hairy shaft. And, and it's, a, it's their scrotum skin, not the, not the <clears throat> tissue that's supposed to be there on the shaft. Uh, <laughs> there's the and in the prepuce, it's not just tissue. It's it's com it's a little more complex. It's a little more like like your eyelids or your cheeks and your tongue and stuff like that. I mean, the 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 glands would be kind of like the the tongue. And there's the frenulum right there. It's showing you right there. Um, and frenulum is a lot like your the bottom of your tongue. So uh, and then here is the inner mucosa right here, and and the inner mucosa is a part that is attached to the prepuce during the early years of childhood. Uh, it's, it's supposed to be attached. It's not supposed to be retracted and separated. It's similar to um, well, breaking the hymen on a, on a female or, uh, or tearing apart the, the eyelids on a kitten um, before the eyelids have completely developed properly. So um, if a doctor or nurse tells you to break that and separate it and pull it back to clean it and then to put Vaseline on it, that's not proper. That is not natural. 
um, the normal penis is supposed to stay attached during childhood and it normally it separates on its own as, uh, as, as a male reaches puberty. And then um, above the, uh, the intermucosa is the ridged band, and it's you know, typically around the, the edge around here. And uh, it's, I've heard of it described as similar to uh, ribbed condoms. Uh, it, it's supposed to be there to help provide uh, pleasure for the female. And then uh, last but not least, the, uh, the, the outer layer. Uh, the outer layer that is covering the glands, not the shaft skin, but the outer layer. Of course, it's all one thing, but that's how it's referred. So when you're removing the prepuce, when you're doing having a circumcision done, typically in the U.S., of course, it's going to depend on the, the, the person doing the cutting, um, all of that is removed all the way around. And, uh, and it's a shame. So anyways, I, I hope that uh, people find this valuable, um, and I hope this gets more people to, that, you know, particularly in tactivists, that uh, want to uh, educate other people will we'll buy some of these. I, I bought four of these so I can share them with my, uh, my intactivist friends at, at events like at uh, Baby Fairs. Going to do one here in about a week. Uh, and maybe even at demonstrations and stuff like that. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and share. Thank you.